Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Toxic Taco. Today I'm bringing you another video. This video is going to be about Pokemon Go. It's a little mini review of the game so far. Um, and I'm going to try my best to give you my review. I'm going to start doing these for certain games that I really like or that I appeal to or had such a fond memory of. And Pokemon Go, well it touches back to Pokemon just in general for me because I really love the Game Boy style Pokemon games where you just, um, you know, if you remember those games, they were the they were just playing out the greatest of all time Pokemon games. I love the classics. But let's get into it. Pokemon Go, as you guys have known, released a few days ago, and quite honestly, it took people by storm. People started really playing it heavily. Um most definitely people got into it, and if you were an OG Pokemon fan, I know people were just so curious about it to hear all the hype and had to download it. And it's really cool, and it's got its good points and its bad points. Let's talk about some of the interesting and good points about it. So interestingly enough, download it like an app. It's a game on your phone. Cool thing is, it accesses your GPS as well as your camera in order for you to... It builds a real-world map of where you are, and then locations wherever they may be. There would be gym battles, and sometimes of local locations where you have... Um, um, for me, on campus, I see plenty of gym battles around, so that's that's my thing. And um, um, Pokemon will pop up randomly here and there, and if you go walk around, you'll probably find another set of Pokemon here and there. Um, and it's pretty cool. I, I just like that feature and how they pop up on your camera when you're actually about to catch them. Downside to this game, let's see. Well, in terms of it being very nice and interesting how it uses the camera on your phone as well as the GPS now you have to walk around in order to actually capture Pokemon um, the downside is it's not very fulfilling it's a game where they could have put more into it it's a game that right now is I would say at best average and but it does have a lot of potential don't get me wrong the game most definitely can reach heights of great of great levels um, I would say that like old Pokemon style games I wish that for battles they would have included and um, where you could just select attack um, um, run and stuff like that when you actually capture Pokemon like on the screen where I put it right here that old style if they had included it with this new like look um, how it just looks it would have been perfect because the battles just seem very terrible <laughs> um, you literally just dodge uh, the attacks and try and hit your attacks using the swipe and I'm just like yeah that kind of defeats the purpose I thought it was gonna be like an old style kind of setup where you just hit attack and all that which would have been really great but they decided to go the other route so that's my only this that's you know that's the weakness I find that the game hasn't brought, been brought out to its full potential but don't get me wrong it has a lot of potential and other notes things that it's done so far so right now Pokemon Go besides um, not living up to its potential but it hopefully in time it will stand up to that that they will make it even better and it having cool little features how it works with your phone it has also brought great memes um, just like this page um, Pokemon Go memes with all the jokes that it's brought as well as bringing people together to actually you know go out and t get Pokemon which is something that I think gets kids out of the house I mean hey it's act act activity and I've seen people um, when I go jogging or running um, there are kids actually walking with their um, either parents with them to try and capture Pokemon which is pretty cool to see I mean they're being active they're not just staying at home and they may be on their phone but at least they're going out to get some exercise but it's also getting them out they're enjoying themselves and they can make friends along the way um just it could be weird if um you're in a public location and you point your phone in the wrong direction and then people think you're taking pictures of them um so that's another downside to it um but overall the game has a lot of potential um Hopefully in time, you know, it brings more but plenty of great jokes that have come along with it and plenty of um, probably It has brought many kids out of just staying at home and playing on their consoles. So pl a great game um, Let me just give it a rating scale of 1 to 10. I'd say this game's at it's at a seven and a half to eight um, It would be higher, but l let's just say that 
um, if it works the potential that I think it will, it will reach the nine, 9 to 10 rating for sure. But that's been it for the video, guys. On another short note, these four in the video, hopefully they introduce this to Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I'm a big Yu-Gi-Oh! fan. Growing up, I really liked collecting the cards as well as um, playing people and trying to trade as well as take their cards by winning um, yeah, duels. Hopefully they include, because if you keep up with Game Ranks or subscribe to them, because I do, um, you talk about how they were doing something like this for Yu-Gi-Oh! and hopefully they make it the reality because I know I'd play that more just because I really enjoyed that game when I was a kid growing up. That's been it for the video guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Hopefully I'll make more reviews like this for other games that come out that spark my interest. I won't be talking about just any other game. It's got to spark my interest and I'll talk about it. But Thanks for watching guys. Peace!